motor. This time I have black sand cores in here. I went with 22 gauge wire, tri filer wound, uh, three lengths of the 86 feet that I hooked together in series for about 250 feet or so of wire wound in each coil. The coils are longer now than the other one with air cores. Here's the outer stator plate. It's a thicker stator now. Here's the rotor, the air gap, about an eighth of an inch. Here's the back stator plate. So they're a little longer and they're they have black fan cores and I used uh, thinner wire than the last one with the 18 gauge. This is now 22 gauge. The other thing I did is I made kind of a concave uh, surface to the cores where it goes in. See that? It, and it, that's on both sides of these coils too. Okay, what I want to show you here is something pretty interesting. I'm running this with a variac right here, directly from the grid. Goes through the variac so I can adjust the voltage right here by turning this. And over here, I have two meters. One, this one's an AC amperage, 0.4 amps going into it, which is pretty good. And this is the voltage. Okay, here's the voltage going into it from the Variac, 71 volts. So the Variac cuts down 120 from the grid to 71. And here's the amperage going into it over here, 0.4 amps. So it's not too bad right now, but here's what's really interesting. Watch the amperage when I turn up the volts. So I'm going to slowly turn up the volts. Now the amperage has gone up. Just by raising the voltage 5 volts, I've almost doubled the amps. Now look what happens when I get up higher. Like I'll take it up to 80. And look at that, all of a sudden I'm at 3 amps. Which is a lot of amps when you times that by uh, 120, that's a lot of watts. So I, if I take it all the way up to like 100 volts, I'm going to be up at like 4 amps crazy, but you just cut it down, and see at about 80 volts it starts to get reasonable amperage, about 0.85, now it's down to 0 0.41, 0 0.4, and I bring it back to 70, and, whoops, I went too Okay. I just stalled it, I got it going again. Here's a, so look at what we got right now. I have 117 volts going into it and 3.9 amps. And it's running pretty strong. It's just only this motor right here is running. I have it on a rotoverter shaft, but I don't have the rotoverter hooked up, so it's just the chassis bearings is spinning right now. Okay, now that's way too much watts going into this thing. 3.95 amps, 116 volts, ah. okay, I got it going again. And I have the uh, Variac pegged all the way as high voltages it'll go, 117 volts in, which also means it has 3.96 amps, which is huge. Okay, here's the Variac. Here's the motor. Just the motor running off the grid, and I have it through the Variac. Now I'm going to turn down the Variac and watch the amps. It's not linear. It's not like you bring it down so many volts and you bring it, it comes down so many amps. Uh, the coils must be saturating at some point here. Okay, I'm going to bring the voltage down to 98. 
99. See that? We've already dropped it down to 2 on the amperage. Now I'll bring it down to say... Now look, all of a sudden it's under 1 amp at 86 volts. Now if I bring it down to 75, where I had it, it'll be like 0.4 amps. So it's beautiful there. That's, you know, whatever that is. 36, 32 watts, something like that. So that's way better than 400 watts, 500 watts. Okay, now, I'm going to drop it. If I drop it down more, the amperage starts to go up a little bit. See, it's up to 5 now. So that's like, you'd have to say, that's like the perfect voltage to run this particular motor at this particular speed of 1800 RPM. So that's kind of interesting. Now, uh, I guess that's about it. Okay.